guys welcome back to my channel i'm chelsea if you're new today we're going to be doing my 2022 shower routine okay this has been long awaited i needed to do an updated shower routine um so i have it here for you guys as you can see i have everything laid out i'm going to be turning on my water yes i like my water hot i know they say you're not supposed to shower in hot hot water but girl i just do it best for me okay i just do what's best for me um so these are some of the products that i'm using today but before we get started you know you gotta set the vibes whenever you're taking a shower brent fayez is like one of my favorite artists i love listening to like that r&b like vibey type music so this is definitely a go-to whenever i'm taking a shower as you can see i also love necessaire like this is not sponsored but i definitely love this body wash i've incorporated in my shower routine a lot um this little body loofah is from target highly recommend if you haven't tried it give it a try it's like three dollars and 95 cents so you can't beat it i'm just taking that and just cleaning my body um i like to use the necessaire body wash first because it's not really scented it's eucalyptus but honestly i can't really smell it um, so yeah, I just like to wash my body with that. Make sure you get your legs, girl, okay? Because a lot of people be missing their legs. You got to make sure you get them legs and feet when you're taking your shower. So after that, I love to go in with a body scrub. Like, I have to incorporate a body scrub. I know, I know, I know, Tree Hut. There are so many other different um, body scrubs that are so much better. But girl, I just like Tree Hut, okay? Um, I do want to try the skin effect. So maybe in my next shower routine, I can try that for you guys and let you know how I like it. Um, however, this scent in this Tree Hut body scrub is so bomb it's like pina colada pineapple mango all in one like just think of those smells and combine them and that's what it smells like it smells so good um so i like to just rub the body scrub all over the areas that even if i'm gonna be shaving i like to rub that body scrub on those areas as well that way i can get a nice smooth uh shave and then it can also make my body just like super soft and and silky and glowy um so this is necessary in my shower routine for sure I also want to make sure that I get the bottom of my feet as well when I'm applying this body scrub and just all of the parts of my body. I try to make sure that I cover those areas with the scrub. If you want me to do a more luxe um, shower routine, I can definitely have that for you guys. I try to make this one as affordable as possible. So if you want me to do that in the future, just let me know. So once I finish with the body scrub, I like to just rinse that off with some water, of course. You don't want to just leave the sugar scrub on there, so I'm just rinsing off my body everywhere. Next, we're going to go in and shave. I highly recommend the Flamingo Shaving Gel. This is not sponsored as well. I just love this product. Um, I know a lot of people feel like shaving gel isn't necessary, but girl, for me, for my self-care routine, this is important. I don't know. It just elevates the experience. Like, I don't want to just go in with body wash, so I just take that under the arms. And I'm just taking my razor and just cleaning everything up, of course. And then I'm also going to shave my legs as well. Um, I'm just using a regular razor. Sometimes I like to get fancy and use, like, the ones with the soap on there. But this time, girl, I just had to use what we had. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking my razor and just shaving my legs. So now that we're finished with the legs, I just like to rinse everything off. I'm going to finish up with my Necessaire Body Exfoliator. I know you're like, girl, you already exfoliated. I know. Okay, stay with me. Sometimes the tree hut can be a little bit more intense, so I just wanted to show another alternative if you don't want to use the tree hut. This one is a lot more mild, um, and you can still get like that nice, smooth feeling. Um, I'm also going in with my Dove uh, Sensitive Skin Body Wash. 
I've used Native, I've used um, the Method Body Wash, but for some reason, the Dove just still hits different. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking that and just cleaning up my body, making sure you get the back as well. Sometimes we forget about that back too. You know, make sure you get your back. Um, and I'm just taking my loofah and I am just cleaning up. all of that off of course um, and just make sure I get every all the soap off my body and then we're gonna go in with one of my faves if you don't get anything from this shower routine please pick this up this is the Olay body rinse uh, conditioner highly recommend it just makes your body feel super soft especially after you do all of that exfoliation you need to just reapply some moisture to the skin this is what you need like highly recommend so now we're finished with the shower. We're just gonna turn that water off cause yeah, we're done. I'm just gonna take my robe and put that on. Next, it's time to moisturize. This is my favorite part of my shower routine, I have to say. Um, this is another product that you should definitely pick up. This is the Hydro Boost by Neutrogena. Highly recommend. It doesn't give you that sticky feel and it provides like that extra conditioning that your body needs after doing the exfoliation. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Necessaire Body Lotion. This is unscented. Um, so if you're looking for something that is unscented, try this out. It gives you that moisture that you need without like the harsh smells. Um, next, we're gonna make sure that we apply our Nivea. This is another go-to, like I have to have this not gonna see you wrong okay so definitely pick that product up, product up as well if you're looking for just like a new lotion to try out in your in your self-care shower routine i'm gonna go in with the brazilian bum bum cream another fave of mine i haven't tried the pink one just yet but i do want to try it we're gonna go in with some vitamin e oil and just oil up the body girl So now that that's done, I'm just gonna go in with my Dove deodorant. This is the one with 0% aluminum. Um, it doesn't hold all day. I'm just not gonna lie to you. It does not hold all day. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Poison Girl uh, by Dior. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with that toilet. I'm gonna have to add extra because it is a toilet, as you can see. Next, I'm gonna use my Vitamin C Wash by Soap & Glory. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a new product to try out in your skincare routine. Also comment below if you guys would like to see me do a detailed skincare routine. I can have that out for you all very soon as well. I'm taking a paper towel and just drying off my skin. Please don't rub it in like, you, like I did. You just wanna pat it um, on your skin, not rub it. Um, but definitely use a paper towel instead of like um, face towels and stuff like that because they do hold bacteria. Next, we're gonna de-puff with these eye patches. Okay, I just feel like they went with the vibes when you're doing self-care, you might as well use some eye patches. These are from Target, so I'll link them for you guys below as well. So now that we're finished with skincare, I'm gonna take the cuticle oil by Sally Henson. Um, I've been incorporating this in my shower routines as well. So definitely try out some cuticle oil just to bring life back to your nails after a long shower. Um, I think I got this tip from Aaliyah because she killed it in her shower routine. So I said, might as well. Last but not least, our Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a must have. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my shower routine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.